Now, in America, it's currently Black History Month, and what Black Lives Matter is doing is that they're pushing a curriculum into their schools to celebrate Black History. Now, that means in nine months in October, when Britain has their own Black History, you can be sure that this is what they're going to be teaching in school. I, I read an article. Um, by her teacher I believe and he mentioned that the school should reflect the community you know the school should bring the community into our into their schools and I don't I don't accept that schools should influence you know influence the community schools should raise future leaders to influence the community and stop allowing the especially the bad things of the community to seep into your school and many of the ideologies of the BLM movement are misleading and they are untrue and they only further they only serve to further divide and even further mentally oppress black people. We are not being hunted down by police. We are not going to lose our lives because we are black. We can live freely. We can go to school freely. Doesn't matter who we are. We need to be teaching the black children that they are able to do whatever they want to do in these countries. In the UK and the US, we need to be saying that to them. We need to stop telling them that they are automatically oppressed because they are not. Because we have a cloud. We have a cloud of successful people who can attest to that. And stop saying that just because they are successful doesn't mean that they didn't face racism. Racism doesn't determine that you will have a bad life. This means, yes, addressing the issue of racism. But it also doesn't mean to elevate this issue so much to the point that this is the... This is made to be the only reason why black people are in situations that they are in and that is not the case. And what they are doing is that they are promoting ideas based on what they call their 13 guiding principles. Now, this isn't just something that's in society. This is something now that they're trying to embed in the school systems, right, in the minds of young people. And I want to, before I... I talk through the guiding principles and, and all these things. I just want to make clear that the problem with this is that the BLM institution doesn't or, and shouldn't represent black people because many black people do not agree with the things that they are pushing. It's one thing to have your ideas, but it's another thing to start to push it into society and trying to push this movement a, a, amongst you know adults and young people that's fine we can make our own minds up whether we believe this or not but it's a complete affront that they're trying to actually poison the minds of our children with these with these ideologies they're not good ideologies they're not helpful ideologies especially to black people so i'm not going to go through all the guiding principles i will just touch on a few now, the first one, which I think is fourth on the list, is they're trying to push globalism. I am not for globalism. I don't believe in a one world. I don't want a one world because that means for, for there to be one world, there needs to be one point of control or one group or one person controlling that one world. So that's one thing that they're pushing. Can you see they're already brainwashing the, these children who they are trying to prepare for this global new one world? in in the imminent future and as always this push and this you know force to accept you know pressure that we must accept queer and transgender ideas and look again i really don't mind what people do with their lives but to force people to believe that's what they used to say christians used to do and now they hate that they used to say christians used to try and force their beliefs on people I don't agree anyone should try and force their beliefs on anyone. It doesn't matter what you believe. Speak your truth. Talk. Share. Okay. But to be pushing this into the minds of people, especially young minds, is unacceptable. People who are homosexual or transsexual or want to be transgender and all these things, do what you need to do. But to force people to agree or accept or even want your lifestyle i don't think it's fair i don't think it's fair and to be honest many people from the lgbtq community are not even 
accept you know for this kind of force of this is what we believe and you need to believe what we believe or else now again this curriculum very clearly states that they want to destroy and disrupt the western western pre prescribed nuclear family let me tell you something family family structure is not a western thing okay it's not it's not a western thing in nigeria in africa anywhere they believe in family structure father mother children the children respect the father and mother what the father says goes the mother guides nurtures takes care of the home the children the father provides teaches disciplines you know these are the general general norms I'm not saying a woman can't you know discipline I'm not saying all these things but i'm saying structure structure is what i'm talking about why why do they want to disrupt that hmm? what has what has that done that has been disrupted for many many years for many decades especially in the black community that has been dis disrupted single mothers single parenting is on the rise and yes they have a village around them grandmas are taking care of the kids you know aunties are taking care of the kids extended families are taking care of the kids but where are the fathers because that those are the only people that suffer with this whole dis disruption have you noticed have you noticed the fathers are the only ones that are being taken out of this picture when it comes to disrupting the nuclear family and then what does that do to the child what does that do for the future of that child so we are not we we need to you need to be aware if you have children in public school you need to be aware of what your child is learning and there is no excuse you need to make sure that even if you can't maybe take them out of public school make sure you are teaching them what is right because I speak to many and they say, well, we have no control of who they talk to, of what they learn. Yes, you do. That's your damn child. Be careful. That is your child. They spend a lot of time in school and you, you need to be 100% sure that you are, you are on top of what they are receiving into their minds. Because that is forming them. That is forming their future. That is shaping who they will be on this earth. We have to be careful what our children are learning and you have to be careful how these these ideologies are being seeped into the school system, into society. Be careful into your mind subconsciously. Be careful.